Hello there everyone, I'm Lilis Fox and a warm, warm welcome to my channel. I post new videos on mindful gaming every single week, including roundups of games that I am playing and games that I'm really looking forward to playing. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to be notified when I publish a new video. Today we are taking a look at Cozy Grove, a game by Spry Fox that was released for the Nintendo Switch and other platforms just this week. Cozy Grove is described as a game about camping, and it's taken influence from games like Animal Crossing, Spiritfarer, and others. You all know that I love Animal Crossing, but I also enjoyed Spiritfarer. In fact, more coming on why I love Spiritfarer in future videos. All of that said, I've been really, really looking forward to playing Cozy Grove. Starting up Cozy Grove, you discover that you are a spirit scout deployed on the all but colorless island of Cozy Grove to assist the many spirits who reside there. The game allows you to customize your skin, eyes, and hair before you set out to explore. The first area you come to is a barren campsite with a fire waiting to be lit. It is here that you meet Flamey, your first friend and guide on the island. Flamey suggests that you go speak to the ghost of a ranger just beyond the campsite. And it is here that you meet Charlotte, the first spirit. Charlotte is a large bear dressed up as a ranger, and they recognize you as a spirit scout. They suggest that you find some wood to stoke the fire, and sure enough, you find some ethereal wood set beside the campfire. Picking it up and tossing it to Flamey causes them to burn a bright blue and exclaim that what you have found is spirit wood and you discover that you will need to keep helping the spirits of the island to find more. Returning to Charlotte causes them to take form, adding color to the surrounding area. And this is the basis of Cozy Grove. You wander around the barren island, breathing life and color into it by helping spirits and collecting items and resources. Like Animal Crossing, the game passes in real time, promoting slow, thoughtful, daily gameplay. The island comes to life as time passes, the sun rising and setting, the weather changing. Here are just a few things that stand out to me so far. One, the music. The soundtrack for the game is perfect for getting cozy and playing mindfully. It sets an emotional and comfortable tone for the gameplay. It feels like coming home. Two, the art. The style is reminiscent of Spiritfarer and there is something soothing about the muted, earthy colors and watercolor textures. The simple animations of the wind blowing the trees and the light of the fire allow for a calm immersion. The entire island feels like a dream world. Three, this giant fox. Mr. Kit is a merchant and I love everything about him, including the tiny mouse on his head. Four, crafting. Since I've only played the first day of the game, my crafting items are limited, but what I've seen so far is rustic and incredibly charming. A simple log chair and table, and a beautiful log cabin planter. I'm really looking forward to crafting more items and learning more recipes. Five, the pace. Like Animal Crossing, Cozy Grove encourages slow progress. You are rewarded for doing a small amount at a time, wandering and taking in the sights, spending time fishing and collecting resources. I cozied up with a blanket and a coffee and took my time walking around and noticing small details. Finding beauty in the muted spots, imagining what these colorless areas will look like when they come to life. I spent some time taking in the art of the spirits I have met so far and their characteristics and apparel. And I reeled in quite a few fish and collected seashells from the beach. It is a beautiful place to escape to, equally fantastical and grounding, filled with a simple, thoughtful beauty. So if it isn't obvious, I am enamored with Cozy Grove. I can tell that it will be a game that I play daily and carefully, enjoying each new moment and experience. I wholeheartedly recommend it. If you'd like to see more Cozy Grove gameplay, you can find me live on Twitch or check out 
my stream archives right here on YouTube. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more mindful gaming content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell to be notified when I publish a new video. Until then, take good care friends and see you soon.